First things first, you need to know the condition of your gun always. I took this handgun off last night, put it in the drawer where I keep it, and then I am getting ready today. I'm ready to put this on my person. So I know the condition of this handgun is loaded. There's 17 rounds in the magazine and one round in the chamber. I carry a full-size handgun most days of the year because it's what I shoot the best. So first thing I'm gonna do is make this handgun, unload this handgun, and then show you how I uh, make it ready, the, my procedures, and they've evolved over time. And, um, but we will start with unloading the handgun. So first thing, I actually unload the magazine with the gun still in the uh, holster. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop the magazine, that way I can't accidentally activate the trigger. I thought that a sympathetic squeeze was something that was made up, something people use as an excuse until I actually saw it with my own eyes, watching someone. Um, so let me go ahead, I'm trying to do two things at one time. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that out. Now I'm going to, keeping my finger high and on the slide, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this. I might normally catch this, but on video, I'm just gonna let it hit the floor. So I'm going to pop that out, watch it hit the floor, hit the refrigerator actually. Check, make sure that the gun is unloaded. I'm still gonna lock it back on slide lock because I like to see the gun on slide lock to know that there's nothing in there or to be able to look in and see if there's anything in there. I'm gonna pick up that round. And I'm gonna put the magazine and the extra round right beside each other. All right, now I've got my holster. I've got my handgun. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the slide on this put it back in the holster. So when I'm ready to put my holster, I like to carry, this is a Tentacore Malice Soul with the Zev, uh, Zev OZ9. I like to carry this at appendix with the back plate right below my belly button. So I'm gonna first check and then count it to the right. So I'm first check that that's where it is, is good. Now I'm gonna pick it up, put it down. I'm gonna look and make sure these shorts like to go down. When I push the holster down, the shorts like to go. So I've got everything looking good, exactly like I want it. Now I'm going to, in a safe direction, um, this is the woods to my house, is this direction, where there's houses that way, this way, and then a playground this way. The woods are in this direction, so I'm pointing in a safe direction, making sure that the brightness is good. I would turn it up if I need to, or even clean out my dot if it was really dirty, but we're good there. And reholster. Also, this is where it would be where I would dry fire if I were going to dry fire. All right, so brightness is good. Everything is set. I feel comfortable with the status of my gun. Now I'm going to go ahead and begin the load procedure. So the first thing that I'm going to do is pointing in a safe direction, finger high on the slide. I'm going to insert a full, and I'm checking to make sure there are 17 rounds in this magazine. So I'm going to insert the magazine. I'm going to chamber around. So now I have a round chamber. Now, um, I might normally drop the magazine and put the magazine down and then put the loaded handgun down, put the round in the magazine, insert it back into the gun and then holster it. I actually now holster my handgun and then do what we call an administrative reload, or I'm going to take out the magazine now has 16 and put it this extra round in here for a full 17 rounds and one in the chamber. The reason that I do that is because I have witnessed with my own eyes the, the, uh, someone drop a magazine, fumble like they were going to grab it and missed it and then went and then tried to snag it down here. And when they did, they uh, shot off a round. Having witnessed that now, I just put the gun, keep the gun in the holster when I'm uh, taking the magazine in and out unless I'm actively shooting. Um, that way there is much less negligence that I have to worry about. So when I'm loading the magazine, um, or anytime, excuse me, anytime I'm taking the magazine out, if I'm not actively shooting, then I will holster the gun like I did here. All right, put that magazine back in. Now I will draw with my finger still high on the slide. I'm going to make sure I'm going to do a press check. I want to make sure that the um, brass is in the barrel. So I actually see brass in that barrel. I'm going to I pull that slide forward. I'm going to hit the back plate to make sure that the slide is fully seated. I'm going to rotate, tug on that magazine to make sure that the magazine is fully seated. And now I can go ahead and holster with the straight finger, straight, my index finger straight. 
making sure to get a good grip on the gun all the way in. Also, I like to check in the holster, make sure that it's empty before I uh, reholster as well. So guys, that is my procedure for loading my CCW handgun every single day. I knew that the gun was loaded when I put it on. I uh, made, uh, I unload, made it safe just to show you my loading procedure. But what I might normally do is then, knowing that the handgun was loaded, put it on because it was holstered, so it's safe in the holster. Take that holstered handgun, put it on, and then pull it out. Do a press check, seat it, push it in, pop the magazine out, and make sure that there's 17, just to double check, um, and then seat that gun. Pull it out, uh, tug on the magazine, push the back plate, reholster it, and then I'm good. So even if my handgun is loaded and I'm putting on a loaded handgun, I will still check. One, to make sure that there's a round in the chamber. Two, to make sure that the magazine is fully loaded and fully seated to make sure that the slide is pushed all the way forward and to make sure that my dot is turned to the brightness that I want. I will also sometimes um, go into a dark room I know with my dark, uh, red dot brightness, I turn it all the way up. Um, so uh, a, a lot of times I don't need to do what I'm telling you, but on some of my other handguns, I will go into a dark room, activate the light, and then check the brightness on the red dot to make sure that I can see the red dot with the light activated. So that is another consideration that you'll want to think of depending on if you're carrying a light or not. Guys, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, leave them for me in the comments, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.